catch them. Which is here. What is happening everybody? It's Paul. We're here in front of the saltwater tank today. We got a bunch of things to do to it. Also, special announcement coming in this video. You're not going to want to miss it. Making some salt water, everybody. Took the old pump out because it was rusting. Cleaned it out. Got a new pump that was basically all plastic. And you can see I've got this going. Salinity's right. Temperature's going up. Time for a water change. Now that we're going to be doing a water change here on this tank, it is time to rescape it. The reason why I want to rescape it is because I got areas like here where it's just too steep and it's not going to allow for good coral placement. The best time to do this is when we're doing a water change. Also, take a look at this. I upgraded my lights. I got two XR30 Radeon Gen 4 Pros um just so we can have some better lighting in here first thing we're going to turn the light on under here so i could see all down here and then what we're going to do is shut off the return pump and unplug the skimmer so that these are not running while the water overflows back also i need to pull out the power on the auto top off so now we're draining down the pumps are still on right now just so the water keeps flowing through here so it's going through the rocks and whatnot now I want to know how much water to pull out. There's a calculator that I found where you can do all your measurements. You can do your width, your depth, and then you select how high you want, and it'll tell you how many gallons. So I know if I do about 7 inches, which is here, that that is 35 gallons of water. Um, on the safe side, let's just go to six and a half which is about there so now i know only come down to about this top section right here the reason for that is because the brute trash can is 44 gallons i like to always make sure i have enough just in case anything got calculated wrong but there you go there we go all right so first things first what we're going to do is start getting some of the substrate cleaned out you can see we're using the python no spill water change kit and just getting the sand clean so we can start moving stuff. Look at the yellow tang. All right, everyone, so we are at a good stopping point right now, and what I need to do is I'm gonna move some of this over here and start to rescape this area. Now, I wanna use this rock. This has got a lot of good coralline growing on it. So now it's uh, starting to scape it. All right, so what we're doing now is the hard part, getting the snails off of the rocks so that they do not get crushed when we move the rocks around in the tank because those snails do an amazing job helping keep my rocks clean my tank clean they're great cleanup crew also it's pretty tough to be moving all these rocks around uh when it's full <laughs> but i don't want to move the rocks out of the tank because i want them to stay submerged in the water getting some more of that sand cleaned and moved around so we can start placing all of the rocks. It's gonna be done in three, two, one. Check it out. Uh, sorry that the color is a little on the gray looking side. It's because the lights are really blue right now. Um, but here we go. Here is the new scape. Let me step away from this so you can get a look. So there you go, new scape. Um, I like it. I uh, really think what I did that's going to be beneficial is, again, flat spots. So we're talking about all these flat spots. So if you look right there, that is all flat. This is all flat down here. Wow, this is really crazy the way it looks. Um, that top is flat. The whole top section there is flat. This rock is flat. This rock is flat. Down here is flat, this is flat. So again, my goal was to try to make this uh, scape better to where I have more sections to be able to plant the coral in here. Um, that I feel was something that was gonna be a problem the way I had it before. We got the Jardini and the Powder Blue Tang. And somewhere over there is the Royal Grama, but I wanna get these three guys into the tank. The, um, the Banana Rass, and the six line, they're gonna stay in here, help keep this tank cycled actually. There's the rail grama under the rock. But I wanna get those guys in here. All right, so for those of you who haven't seen this, this is what I do when I'm adding a new fish into the tank. I got a couple containers. These are fresh salt water. Um, so it goes into a dip, then to a dip, then to a dip. So this guy, pulled him out of the quarantine tank. What I'm gonna do now, just come in here, catch them, move them on to the next one, just in case there's any kind of copper on them. And now this is the next guy. 
the Royal Grama, and there it goes. Next is the DeJardini, there he goes. And the Powder Blue Tang. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna top it off with the old school mirror trick. It's been a few days since we had the mirror up and I'm hoping we're all good to go now. The one thing is the Jardinite tang which just went under there and then the purple tang over here. The purple tang does not like the Jardinite, so I'm hoping that will still be okay. All right, everyone, let's check it out. Let's check it out. So here we go with the first fish we added, the Dejardini. Beautiful tang, beautiful. Love how it's a little bit lighter in color. Brings out some nice contrast in the tank. Now the purple tang is not a fan of this guy. Yes, they are both zebra soma, but I had the yellow and the purple in here, no problem. So I added them. Just gonna be a matter of keeping a really close eye on this guy. And then we got the Beast, the Powder Blue Tang. What a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Amazing. Now I had this guy in quarantine for almost two months and I feel like that was probably the best move I can make because these fish are so sensitive and uh, came out of QT, all good and no issues. There he is right there. Beautiful, man. Now, the Royal Grama has gone missing. I'm assuming it's hiding down here because when I got it in here, these um, damsels, these Starky damsels went after it. Um, actually, what I might end up doing is I might catch the Starkies and this Orchid Dotty backpack here and probably just rehome them. Uh, because I want to go with something that's a little bit less aggressive with these guys. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Now we're going to check that scape out. So down here is a flat spot. So this is going to allow me to put things like some eight cans and lower light corals. Also, I could probably sneak some up over in here. Here's a spot. Now I added this flat piece here. It ended up angling a little bit because of the rock, but that's okay. I really wanted to have some areas where the fish could swim in and out of there, but that's got some flat to it. This has got some flat to it. And then you come over here, then we got the arch that goes across the section right there. We got these two arches. So this is all flat up here. This is all flat. So again, probably some Acropora and things like that will go up over here once I get into SPS. Down here, another flat spot, which again, lower light corals, same thing down over in here. And this has got all kinds of area, same with up in here. So I really feel like this was a good scape to allow me to have more placement for the corals, which is the whole point of having a reef tank outside the fish is the corals, right? So that is where we are with that. And then plus with the lights, it's gonna really do a really good job. Now I got a lot more lighting down here. So things like this section are gonna work out. Also, I got some area like back over here. I could probably put some low light stuff back over there. So it just really truly all depends on the corals that I end up getting. Now to check this section out, I left this section here open. Pretty nice size section. Reason why is if I ever want to get a clam, boom, I got a spot for it over here. Uh, you know, get a little rock and, and you know, so its foot goes on to it. Or I could even do like um, a, a torch garden over here if I wanted to um, get something to mount them on that goes in, under the sand. But you never know. I wanted to have an open spot there for possible future additions. But yeah, man, look at that. It, it is awesome. And then plus, you know, we got some open space here, some space here, there's space there, some in the back over there. And with these lights, it's gonna allow me to do some good things. So I'm really stoked, guys, man. This is just awesome. Man, I just love seeing all these fish swimming around. Such incredible color on these saltwater fish. But yeah, like I mentioned, the Orchid Dotty back down over here, that purple guy and the two Starkies. I might catch them and rehome those guys and then just add some more fish that are not as aggressive. 
just so you know because these these guys pick on some of the fish quite a bit like the redhead sloan fairy wrasse gets picked on by the starkies quite a bit Man, just look at all these fish moving around here. Sped it up for you guys. Man, it is absolutely beautiful. Just wait until we see corals in this tank, man. Get ready for the special announcement. Check this out, everybody. Remember how we added those Burgia Nudibranch in here? Aptasia is gone on this side and the one that is on this other side that was down under in this corner is gone. Yeah. So what does everybody think about the new scape and the new fish? Man, I am so excited that I got those fish added and we got the tank rescape because that means coral are coming next into this tank because they are basically done in quarantine. So now it's going to be a plan on where do I plant them? Where do they go inside this tank? It's going to be absolutely epic. You're not going to want to miss out. So please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell because you're going to want to see what this tank looks like with coral. Trust me. So thanks again for watching. Please comment down below what you guys think of the video. All that good stuff. I appreciate each and every one of you guys for watching. Thank you so, so much. Stay tanked.